Welcome back to the third day of our 365 daily devotions. We are picking up in Genesis chapter 5. The Descendants of Adam. It is the written account of the descendants of Adam. When God created human beings, he made them to be like himself. He created them male and female. He blessed them and called them human. When Adam was 130 years old, he became the father of a son who was just like him in his very image. He named his son Seth. After the birth of Seth, Adam lived another 800 years. He had other sons and daughters. Adam lived 930 years and then he died. When Seth was 105, he became the father of Enosh. After the birth of Enosh, Seth lived another 807 years and he had other sons and daughters. Seth lived 912 years and then he died. When Enosh was 90 years old, he became the father of Kenan. After the birth of Kenan, Enosh lived another 815 years and he had other sons and daughters. Enosh lived 905 years and then he died. When Kenan was 70 years old, he became the father of Mahalalel. After the birth of Mahalalel, Kenan lived another 840 years and he had other sons and daughters. Kenan lived 910 years and then he died. When Mahalalel was 65 years old, he became the father of Jared. After the birth of Jared, Mahalalel lived another 830 years and he had other sons and daughters. Mahalalel lived 895 years and then he died. When Jared was 162 years old, he became the father of e Enoch. After the birth of Enoch, Jared lived another 800 years and he had other sons and daughters. Jared lived 962 years and went, and then he died. When Enoch was 65 years old, he became the father of Methuselah. After the birth of Methu Methuselah, Enoch lived in close fellowship with God for another 300 years. And then he had other sons and daughters. Enoch lived 365 years walking in close fellowship with God. And then one day he disappeared because God took him. When Methuselah was 187 years old, he became the father of Lamech. After the birth of Lamech, Methuselah lived another 782 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Methuselah lived 969 years, and then he died. When Lamech was 182 years old, he became the father of a son. Lamech named his son Noah, for he said, May he bring us relief from our work and that painful labor of farming this ground that the Lord has cursed. After the birth of Lo Noah, Lamech lived another 595 years, and then he had other sons and daughters. Lamech lived 777 years, and then he died. By the time Noah was 500 years old, he was the father of Shem, Ham, and Jeph Jepheth. Chapter 6, A World Gone Wrong. The people began to multiply on the earth, and the daughters were born to them. The sons of God saw the beautiful woman, and they took any they wanted as their wives. Then the Lord said, My spirit will not put up with humans for such a long time, for they are only mortal flesh. In the future, their mortal lifespan will be no more than 120 years. In those days, and for some time after, giant Nephilim, Elites lived on earth for whenever the sons of God had intercourse with women. They gave birth to children who became heroes and famous warriors of ancient times. The Lord observed the extent of human wickedness on earth, and when he saw everything that he thought imagined was consistently in total evil, so the Lord was sorry he had ever made them and put them on earth. It broke his heart, and the Lord said, I will wipe this human race I have created from the face of the earth. Yes, I will destroy every living thing, all the people, the large animals, the small animals that scurry around the ground, and even the birds in the sky. I am sorry I ever made them, but Noah found favor with the Lord. The story of Noah. This is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man. The only blameless person living on earth at the time. And he walked in close fellowship with God. Noah was the father of three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. 
Now God saw that the earth had become corrupt and was filled with violence. God observed all this corruption in the world, for everyone on earth was corrupt. So God said to Noah, I have decided to destroy all living creatures, for they have filled the earth with violence. Yes, I will wipe them out, all out along with the earth. Build a large boat from cypress wood and waterproof it with tar inside and out. Then conduct decks and stalls throughout its interior. Make the boat five, 450 feet long, 70 feet wide, and 45 feet high. Leave an 18-inch opening below the roof all the way around the boat. Put the door on the side. Build three d decks inside the boat, lower, middle, and upper. Look, I'm about to cover the earth with a flood that will destroy every living thing that breathes. Everything on earth will die, but I will confirm my covenant with you. So enter the boat, you and your wife and your sons and their wives. Bring a pair of every kind of anim animal, a male and a female, into the boat with you to keep them alive during the flood. Pairs of every kind of bird, of every kind of animal, every kind of small animal that scurries the ground will come to you and will be kept alive. And be sure to take on board enough food for your family and for all the animals. So Noah did everything exactly as God commanded him. Chapter 7. The Flood Covers the Earth When everything was ready, the Lord said to Noah, Go into the boat with your family, for among all the people of the earth I can see you alone are righteous. Take with you seven pairs, male and female, of each animal I have approved for eating and for sacrifice, and take one pair of each of the others. Also take seven pairs of every kind of bird. There must be a male and a female in each pair to ensure that that all life will survive on earth after the flood. Seven days from now, I'll make the rains pour down on the earth, and it will rain for 40 days and 40 nights until I have wiped from the earth all living things I have created. So Noah did everything as the Lord commanded him. Noah was 600 years old when the flood covered the earth. He went on board, with the, he went on board the boat to escape the flood, he and his wife and his sons and their wives. With them were various kinds of animals. Those were proof for eating, and for sacrifice, and those were not. Along with the birds and all the small animals that scurry along the ground, they entered the boat in pairs, male and female, just as God commanded Noah. After seven days, the waters of the flood came and covered the earth. When Noah was 600 years old, on the 17th day of the second month, all underground waters erupted from the earth, and the rain fell in mighty torrents from the sky. The rain continued to fall for 40 days and 40 nights. That very day, Noah had gone into the boat with his wife and his sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and their wives. With them in the boat were pairs of every kind of animal, domestic and wild, large and small, along with birds of every kind. Two by two, they came into the boat, representing every living thing that breathes. A male and a female of each kind entered, just as God had commanded Noah. Then the Lord closed the door behind them. For forty days, the floodwaters grew deeper, covering the ground and lifting the boat high above the earth. As the water rose higher and higher above the ground, the boat floated safely on its surface. Finally, the water covered even the highest mountains on earth, rising more tw than 22 feet above the highest peaks. All the living things on earth died. Birds, domestic animals, wild animals, small animals that scurry along the ground, and all the people. Everything that breathed, lived on dry land, died. God wiped out every living thing on earth. People, livestock, Small animals that scurry along the ground and the birds of the sky. All were destroyed. The only people who survived were Noah and those with him in the boat. The floodwaters covered the earth for 150 days. So that's all we're going to do for Genesis today. We're going to pick back up tomorrow. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to Matthew. And we are... Inside of chapter 3 on 7. When, But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming to watch him baptize, seduce. So now we're on Matthew. We're inside uh, chapter 3 still. Verse 7. But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming to watch him baptize, he did denounced them. You brood of snakes, he exclaimed. Who warned you to flee God's coming wrath? Prove by way you live that you have repent your sins and turn to God. 
Don't just say to each other, You're, we're safe, for we are descendants of Abraham. That means nothing, for I tell you, God can create children of Abraham from these very stones. Even now, the axe of God's judgment is poised, ready to sever the roots of the trees. Yes, every tree that does not produce good fruit will be chopped down and thrown into the fire. I baptize with water those who repent their sins and turn to God. But someone who is coming soon who is greater than, than I, so much greater that I am not worthy even to be his slave and to carry his sandal, he baptized you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. He is ready to separate the chaff from the wheat with his winnowing fork. Then he will clean up the threshing area, gathering the wheat into his barn and burning the chaff with never-ending fire. The Baptism of Jesus Then Jesus went to Galilee to Jordan River to bapti be baptized by John. But John tried to talk him out of it. I am the one who needs to be baptizing you, you, he said. So why are you coming to me? But Jesus said, It should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. So John agreed to baptize him. After this baptism, as Jesus came up from the water, the heavens were open and and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and settling on him. And a voice from the heavens said, This is my dearly loved Son who brings me great joy. Chapter 7, The Temptation of Jesus Then Jesus was led by a spirit into the wilderness to be tempted there by the devil. For there are forty days and forty nights he fasted and became very hungry. During the time the devil came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell me these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus told him, No, the scriptures say, People do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The devil took a look at took him to the holy city Jerusalem to the highest point of the temple. He said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. For scriptures say, He will order His angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even, so won't even hurt your foot on a stone. But Jesus responded, The scriptures also say, You must not test the Lord your God. Next the devil took him to a peak of a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. I will give it all to you, he said. If you kneel down and worship me, get out of here, Satan, Jesus told him. For the scriptures say, you must worship the Lord God and serve him only. Then the devil went away, and the angels came and took care of Jesus. We're going to continue with Matthew uh, tomorrow. Now we're going to go to Psalms. So now we're going to read Psalm 3. O oh Lord, I have so many enemies. So many are against me. So many are saying, God will never rescue him. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. I cry out to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord is, was watching over me. I am not afraid of ten thousand enemies who surround me on every side. Arise, O Lord, rescue me, my God. Slap all my enemies in the face, shatter the teeth of the wicked. Victories come from you, O Lord. May you bless the people. That was Psalm 3. We'll help read Psalm 4 tomorrow. And we're going to pick up with in our Proverbs. And we are on verse 10. My child, if sinners entice you, turn your back on them. They may say, come on, join us. Let's hide and kill someone. Just for fun, let's ambush the innocent. Let's swallow them alive like a grave. Let's swallow them whole like those who go down to the pit of death. Think of the great things we'll get. We'll fill our houses with all the stuff we take. Come on, throw in your lot with us. We'll share the loot. My child, don't go along with them. Stay far away from their past. They rush to commit evil deeds. They hurry to commit murder. 
If a bird sees a trap being set, it knows to stay away, but these people set an ambush for themselves. They are trying to get themselves killed. Such is the fate of all who are greedy for money. It robs them of life. So again, we'll pick up with our daily devotions day four tomorrow. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Uh, appreciate all the love and support. Um, this, is gonna, this is just a fun ride for me. Uh, I always wanted to do... I always wanted to read the Bible in a year, so this is this is uh, awesome for me, and um, I appreciate everybody joining with me, and I'll see you for our daily devotions tomorrow.